In this video, we will learn about some properties of determinant of a matrix. The first property is that if in a matrix a row or a column be equal to zero, then the determinant of that matrix is zero. Let me show you an example. Consider this matrix 3, 1, 5, 0, 4, 1. 0 0 0 because in this matrix we have a row that all the element of that row is 0 so without finding determinant of this matrix we know that determinant of this matrix is 0 let me show you another example 2 by 2 example consider this matrix 0 5 0 negative 3 note that this notation when we use vertical lines, this means that we are finding the determinant of the matrix, not the matrix. So this is the symbol for determinant of the matrix. And determinant of this matrix is zero because this column, all the elements of this column are zero. So determinant of this matrix without calculation is definitely zero. This is the first problem. The second property that we want to talk here is that if in a matrix two rows or two columns be a factor of each other, then the determinant of that matrix is zero. Let me show you this by an example. Consider this matrix 1, negative 1, 3, 0, 4, 7, negative 2, to negative 6. If you attention in this matrix, this row is a factor of this row. Actually, if you multiply this row, the first row, by negative 2, we can get to this row. So if you multiply every element in this row by negative 2, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, and 3 times by negative 2 is negative 6. So without doing any calculation from this property, we know that determinant of the matrix B, determinant of the matrix B is 0. So the reason that this determinant is 0 is because this row is a factor of this row. Let me show you another example. Look at this matrix. Let's name it C. 2, negative 1, 0, 4, 1, 4, 3, 2, negative 1, 5, 7, negative 2, 3, 0, 0, 6. If we attention in this matrix, because this column is a factor of this column, if you multiply this column by 2, you can get to the next column. 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So this fourth column is a factor of first column. So determinant of this 4 by 4 matrix is 0. Now let's talk about the next property. If you switch two rows or two columns of a matrix, the determinant of the matrix becomes negative of the original value. Let me show you this by an example. Let's suppose we have this matrix. Matrix M, let's name it M. Negative 1, 3, 5, 7. Determinant of this matrix is negative 1 times 7, which is negative 7, minus 3 times 5, minus 15. And this equals negative 22. Now let's switch two rows or two columns. And let's name that matrix M. Let's switch this column with this column. Then we have this matrix, 3, 7, negative 1, 5. Because we switched two columns, determinant of this matrix without any calculation 
is negative of this value. It should be positive 22. Let's see what is the determinant of n. 3 times 5 is 15 minus negative 7 minus this times this. 15 minus negative 7 is 22. This is an example that shows that if we switch two rows or two columns of a matrix, the determinant of the matrix becomes negative. Note that here we are not proving these properties, just we are reviewing these properties. And sometimes these properties can help you to find the determinant of the matrix easier. If in a matrix we multiply a row or a column by constant, by any number, the determinant of the matrix multiplies by that number. Let's say we have matrix A with these elements. 1, 3, 2, 5. The determinant of this matrix is 1 times 5 minus 3 times 2 is negative 1. Now if we multiply, let's say, the second row by 10 for example. So we multiply this row by 10. Let's see what happens to the value of the determinant. If we multiply the second row by 10, then we have 20, 50. Because we multiply this row by 10, the determinant of the matrix B should be negative 1 times 10. So again, when we multiply a row or a column by number, the determinant of the new matrix is determinant of the original matrix multiplied by that number. Let's see is it true or not. Determinant of the matrix B, if we want to calculate, is 1 times 50, which is 50, minus 3 times 20 is 60, and 50 minus 60 is negative 10. This example confirms our property. Again, I should mention, here we are not proving these properties, just we show an example of those properties. Let me show you another property. If we add or subtract a factor of one row to another row, or if we add or subtract a factor of a column to another column, the determinant of the matrix doesn't change. Let me show you some examples of this property. Say we have this matrix 3, 1, 2, 6, Determinant of this matrix, 3 times 6 is 18 minus 1 times 2 minus 2 equals 60. Now let's multiply this row by a number and add that to the next row. So we want to multiply this row by a number and then we add that row to this row. Let's, for example, multiply this row by 5. If we multiply this row by 5, then we 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 5 is 5. If we add this row to the second row, to the elements of the second row, we get to this new matrix. So we are not touching the first row. We are removing them 3, 1. But we are multiplying this row by 5 and then we add that to the second row. So if we add this to the second row, 15 plus 2 is 17, 5 plus 6 is 11. Now we can see that the determinant of this matrix is the same as the original matrix. And it's really interesting. Let's see, really the determinant of the matrix B is still 16 or not. 3 times 11 is 33. 17 times 1 is 17. 33 minus 17 is 16. As you can see, the determinant is the same. Note that it doesn't matter the matrix to be 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 10 by 10. For any matrix, if you add a factor of one row to the other rows, the determinant doesn't change. If you add a factor of any column to the other column, the determinant doesn't change. 
let me show you another example in this case say we have a matrix like one two three four the terminal of the matrix m is one times four is four minus two times three is six four minus six is negative two now for example let's add a factor of this to the other column and let's name the new matrix to be n so we keep this column we doesn't touch it do not change the values but we want to add a factor of this column to the first column for example let's multiply this column by 100 then we have 200 400 now if we add this column to 1 3 200 plus 1 is 201 400 plus 3 is 403 and in a moment you will see that the terminal of the matrix n is still negative 2 the terminal of the matrix n is 4 times 201 4 times 201 is 804 2 times this is 806 if you subtract you get the same number so these two examples confirms or properties in the next videos I will show you some more properties of the determinant of matrices. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel. And thank you for watching.